Volt is a Ruby web framework that is both a client-side framework and a server-side framework. Your Ruby code is compiled from Ruby to JavaScript on the client using the Opal project, which is a Ruby to JavaScript compiler. This allows us to write the same code and have it run on both the client and the server. Once we do this, we can do some interesting things. For example, since we run the same models on both sides, we can do automatic data synchronization. If I change the model on the client, it'll automatically get sent back to the server and saved to the database. From there, based on a series of permissions rules, any other listening clients that are using that data can be automatically updated as well. We push the data out using WebSockets and a series of fallbacks for those browsers that don't support WebSockets. Volt also gives us reactive data bindings. Your views are a mix of HTML and inline Ruby that intelligently knows how to update when the data it's accessing changes. So for example, if we call a method that looks up something in a model and then displays that, it will track internally that that part of the model was used to display that binding. Then if that part of the data in the model changes, the templating system knows that it needs to update that part of the view. This allows us to do fast, efficient DOM updates without needing to diff model changes or diff virtual DOMs. It's a quick way to update and keep the view in sync with the data. And the declarative style of writing means that you don't have to worry about keeping your views in sync. It's handled for you automatically. In Volt, we build apps as a series of nested components. A common problem with other frameworks is that all the parts of your app are coupled together. In Volt, each part is built as a separate component that can include other components. This means that parts of your app are inherently isolated and therefore can be easily reused. The components allow you to package up client code, assets, and server code into a single reusable gem or folder in your app. From the component, you can provide what are called tags, which are quick ways to reuse that code in your view. Tags can have attributes that can also bind to values. We already have some example components that we've been working on, things like field error messages, pagination, file upload, Google Maps, login sign-up templates. We expect the component ecosystem, especially using gems, to, be, to make it really easy to build apps because a lot of the common things that we do as web developers will get abstracted into easily reusable components. Volt provides a series of, of what we call collections, which are different places to store data that all have the same standard API. For example, page is a temporary collection in memory, store backs from the client to the database on the server side, and has some intelligence about running validations, for example, on both sides and permissions logic. Params backs to the URL parameters, and you can use routes, for example, to map specific parameters into the URL. Local store is the local storage, cookies is cookies, and we've got some others in the works. One thing that's interesting about Volt is instead of a classic MVC app, Volt is actually more of an MVVM app. So in Rails, for example, you might have your controller. Um, when a request comes in, it'll hit the controller, go to the model, grab some data, bring that back to the controller, put those in instance variables, and pass those to the view. But in Volt, however, since your view is around the any time it's being displayed and needs to know how to update without recreating all this, we actually keep the models, the controllers, and the views around until that view is no longer being shown. So in Volt, things actually start with the view, the template starts to render, and then if it hits a binding that calls some Ruby code in the binding, it's going to call that code on the controller, and then the controller can either respond to those methods, or if it doesn't have it, it'll pass it down to its model, and then it can get that back from, from the model and then return that value to the view, and the return value is, is then rendered based on the binding. What's interesting here is that because of our dependency tracking, if the data in the model changes, the view will re-request re that for those specific bindings. In Volt, you typically work with your models directly on the client side, but sometimes you need to run code on the server without loading a bunch of data up on the client side. For that, Volt provides what are called tasks. And tasks are a class that you can create. And on the client side, when you call the methods on, those, on that class, it'll return a promise. Then it will go to the server and run the code and then return the value to the promise or fail the promise with an exception. Volt models provide validations and permissions. The permissions are based around the CRUD operations. So you can say who can do what when you're creating, reading, updating, or deleting. 
And you can also be granular about which fields they can access specifically. So you can either allow or deny fields, and it's a pretty simple API to control all, the, all your per permissions needs. So just a quick recap, Vault gives you automatic synchronization, so you don't have to build all these REST APIs by hand. Um, and under the hood, we use web sockets and different things so that the data automatically updates. It gives you, lets you write in one language for both the client and the server. You can isolate parts of your app with components so they're easily reusable. It's a single framework, so you don't have to learn one framework for the back end, one for the server. Our collections let you centralize all of your application state, and then the views, since they're declarative, mean that you're not worried about syncing state at any point. It's all handled for you. And then we also have a unified router that I didn't talk about that lets it makes it easy to map parts of your application state into the URL. We have a pretty active community. If you're curious about learning more about Volt, be sure to check out the other videos. Thanks.